Hello, and a warm welcome to Cozy Studio, your go-to destination for awesome templates to make your life a whole lot simpler. Today, we're thrilled to introduce our ultimate finance tracker. With this powerful tool, managing your finances has never been easier. In this quick overview, we'll walk you through the amazing features of our ultimate finance tracker and show you just how effortless it is to take control of your budget. So let's dive in and discover how this tool can transform the way you manage your money. Let's kick things off with currency selection in the setup page. This step is pivotal for accurate financial tracking. To begin, Locate the currency selection option at the top of the setup page, then choose the currency that matches your primary financial transactions. Remember, the default currency is often set to dollars. However, you have the freedom to change it according to your preference. If you need to change the currency later on, don't worry. You can always revisit this setting and make adjustments as needed. Next, let's explore the six customizable tables available within the Prosperity Annual Budget Planner. These tables are the backbone of your budgeting system, allowing you to organize and categorize your financial data efficiently. First up, we have the income table. This table is where you'll document all sources of income, whether it's your salary, freelance earnings, or investment dividends. You'll notice three essential columns, category, icon, and passive income. In the category column, specify the source of income. This could include salary, freelance work, investment dividends, and so on. Next, in the icon column, Select an icon that best represents each income category. Icons provide visual cues, making it easier to distinguish between different sources of income. You can use existing icons or insert a new one by navigating to Insert, then Image, and then insert image in cell and choosing the image of the icons on your computer or Google Drive. Finally, the passive income column allows you to mark whether the income source is passive. Simply check the box if the income is generated without active involvement, such as rental income or dividends from investments. And now let's move on to the expense table. Similar to the income table, the expense table consists of three columns, category, icon, and importance. In the category column, list all your expense categories. This could include growth groceries, transportation, and any other expenses you regularly incur. Next, select an appropriate icon for each expense category. Finally, in the importance column, you can mark expenses that hold significant importance. This could include essential bills or expenses that require careful consideration before spending. And moving on to the bills table and the debts table. These two tables are similar in structure but serve different purposes. In the bills table, you'll keep track of all your recurring bills, such as rent, utilities, and subscription services. Whereas in the debts table, you'll manage outstanding debts such as loans, credit card balances, and mortgages. Icons provide visual cues, making it easier to identify and categorize different financial obligations. Finally, in the high priority column, mark bills or debts that require immediate attention or hold significant importance. Uh, let's now set up the subscriptions table. This table is where you'll track all your recurring subscription services. Once again, the subscriptions table comprises three columns, category, icon, and regularity. In the category column, name each subscription service you're subscribed to. This could include Netflix, Spotify, gym membership, and so on. Next, select an appropriate icon for each subscription service. Finally, in the regularity column, mark subscriptions that you use regularly. This helps you keep track of recurring expenses more effectively. Lastly, let's set up the accounts table. This table is where you'll manage all your financial accounts, including bank accounts, credit cards, and investment accounts. Similar to the other tables, the accounts table consists of three columns, category, icon, and fund. In the category column, specify the type of each financial account. This could include a personal account, business account, emergency fund, and so on. Next, choose an appropriate icon for each account type. Icons provide visual cues, making it easier to identify and categorize different accounts. Finally, in the fund column, mark accounts that are used specifically to store funds. This could include savings accounts or investment accounts designated for saving purposes. And there you have it. By customizing these tables, you're well on your way to tailoring the ultimate annual budget planner to suit your financial needs effectively. Stay tuned for the next part of our tutorial. In the expense log, we'll explore how to effectively track and organize your expenses for better financial management. Let's start by understanding the purpose and components of the expense log sheet. This sheet serves as the primary input for your expenses, excluding bills, debts, subscriptions, or fund allocations. Think of it as a log for recording purchases that align with the expense categories you selected during the setup process. 
Within the expense log sheet, you'll find the statistics section. Here you'll find important numbers and charts to analyze your spending habits. Total income left provides an overview of your remaining income across all 12 months after deducting spending, including bills, debts, subscriptions, and fund allocations. The yearly worthiness summary classifies expenses as must have, nice to have, or wasted, highlighting their respective proportions of your total expenses. Now let's delve into the expense log table where you'll record your purchases in detail. This table includes seven columns to capture essential information about each expense. The name column is where you specify the purchased item or service. For example, groceries, meat, gasoline, or movie tickets. In the date column, enter the date of the purchase. In the account column, choose the account used for payment or select cash if applicable. The amount column denotes the cost of the item or service. In the worthiness column, indicate whether the purchase is must have, nice to have, or wasted as defined earlier. In the category column, select from the drop down menu populated with categories chosen during the setup page. You can also add additional notes about the purchase in the description column. As your expense log table grows, you may need to manage long-term usage to avoid clutter and improve efficiency. Consider hiding unnecessary purchases to avoid excessive scrolling. To do this, select the rows you wish to hide. Right-click and choose Hide Row. Filters and sorting options are available next to each column name, allowing you to filter out specific purchases or sort entries according to your preferences. Utilize these features for efficient data management. Next, we'll explore how to effectively track your account balances, fund allocations, and transaction history to empower you in managing your finances effectively and making informed decisions about resource allocation. Let's start with the Account Overview section. At the top of your account sheets, you'll find the Account Overview section, which provides key numbers related to your financial activities within this sheet. This includes the current balance, transfer in, transfer out, total expenses, total bills, debts, subscriptions paid. It's important to note that below these key numbers, there are bars that illustrate the percentage of each key number relative to the total money received in all accounts. Moving on to the transactions management section provides tools for efficient account management through three tables, all accounts, checking accounts, and funds, along with the funds spending table and the transfer between accounts table. In the all accounts table, you'll find details such as the account's name, ID, type, bank, credit union, start balance, balance, total transfer in, total transfer out, expense, total bills, debts, subscriptions, current balance, ideal balance, and the difference. These columns offer comprehensive insights into each account's financial activity. It's important to note that the start balance and ideal balance are the only two columns that require manual input. These values serve as the initial and target balances for your accounts. However, all other columns in this table will automatically calculate based on your input in other tables and sheets, providing you with accurate and up to date financial insights without the need for manual calculations. The checking accounts and funds tables share similar attributes as the all accounts table, but are divided for easier management. The funds table excludes bills, debts, and subscriptions paid, as these transactions are only possible with checking accounts. The columns in these tables are automatically populated based on your input in the all accounts table, ensuring consistency and accuracy across all financial records. Next, we have the funds spending table, which records any expenses made from your funds. This includes purchases, withdrawals, or any other transactions that utilize funds. The table includes columns for date, name, fund, amount, and note, allowing you to track how your funds are being utilized and maintain a clear record of your financial transactions. Finally, the transfer between accounts table records any transfers made between your different financial accounts. The table includes columns for date, source account, destination account, amount, and note, providing a comprehensive overview of your transfer activities. Welcome to the 12 Monthly Budget Planner section of the Ultimate Annual Budget Planner. Here, you'll discover a treasure trove of insights into your monthly finances, accompanied by user-friendly input tables and powerful analysis tools designed to empower you to manage your budget with ease and confidence. Let's start with the Monthly Financial Overview section. At the top of your sheet, you'll find key metrics that provide a snapshot of your monthly financial status. Total income remaining shows the remaining balance across all your incomes in checking accounts. Total funds remain 
remaining indicates the remaining balance across all your funds. Total income represents the total income earned for the month, while total expense denotes the total expenditure recorded for the month. Total bills and debts payoff reflects the total amount paid towards bills and debts, and total subscriptions shows the total expenditure on subscriptions. Additionally, total funding represents the total income transferred to funds. Beneath these metrics, progress bars indicate either remaining funds or your progress toward planned amounts. And now let's explore the input section, located on the left side of your sheet. This section is where you enter data to manage your budget effectively. It comprises several tables, each serving a specific purpose. In the income table, you'll input your various income sources. Categories allow you to select income categories from a drop-down menu set up on the setup page. In the account column, you'll specify the checking account from which the income is received. You'll enter the planned and actual amounts of income, and the difference will be automatically calculated. Moving to the expenses table, you'll track your expenses. Here, you'll find all the expense categories you've set up in the expense table on the setup page. You'll enter the planned amounts, and the actual amounts will be automatically calculated based on your input in the expenses log. The difference will also be calculated for you. Next, the funds table helps you manage your funds. Similar to the income table, you'll select fund categories from a drop-down menu. In the source column, you'll specify the checking account used to transfer funds. You'll enter the planned and actual amounts of funds transferred, and the difference will be automatically calculated. Let's now dive into the bills table. Here, you'll specify the type or category of bill, select the checking account used to pay the bill, enter the due date and amount of the bill, and record the amount paid towards it. Similarly, in the debts table, you'll specify Specify the type or category of debt. Select the checking account used to pay off the debt. Enter the due date and amount of the debt and record the amount paid towards it. Finally, in the subscriptions table, you'll specify the type or category of subscription. Select the checking account used to pay for the subscription. Enter the due date and amount of the subscription and record the amount paid towards it. These tables provide a structured format for entering and managing your financial data, helping you maintain an accurate and organized budget. Let's dive into the analysis section on the sheet right side. Here you'll find comprehensive summaries, insights, rankings, and analyses for the input tables, providing valuable insights into your financial data. Starting with the income analysis, the monthly income summary breaks down your income for the month, including the planned and actual amounts, active and passive income, transfers in and out, and the total remaining income. Progress bars indicate your progress toward the planned amount and the percentage of transfers in and out. Additionally, a reminder shows how much money is left to achieve your budgeted plan. The monthly Monthly income breakdown visually represents your income sources in a pie chart, allowing you to see the percentage of each income category. The Monthly Income Insight ranks your income sources based on the actual amount received and identifies the top transfers made to your checking account during the month. Moving to the Expenses Analysis. The Monthly Expenses Summary provides a detailed overview of your expenses for the month, including planned and actual amounts, the importance of expenses, and others. Progress bars show the actual versus planned and expenses and the percentage of importance versus others. The monthly worthiness summary offers a breakdown of expenses categorized as must-have, nice-to-have, and wasted, revealing valuable insights into your spending habits. The expenses breakdown by date shows a detailed breakdown of the amount spent by date in the month. The monthly expenses breakdown displaying the percentage of expenses in each category, ranked from highest to lowest. And next, the funds analysis. The monthly funding summary provides insights into your fund allocations for the month, including planned and actual amounts, transfer in and out, funds spent, and the total remaining funds. You'll notice some progress bars indicating how close we are to meeting our planned amount and percentages for transfer in and transfer out. Also, keep an eye on the reminder feature too. It lets us know how much more we need to reach our funding plan. The monthly funds breakdown visually represents the percentage of funds received by each category in a pie chart. The monthly funding insight ranks funding amounts received by each fund category and provides insights into fund spending. Now, let's explore the bill analysis. Let's take a closer look at the monthly bill summary. This section gives us a detailed breakdown of our monthly bill payments. Here's what you'll find. First off, we have amount. This is the total amount due for all bills. Next up, paid tells us how much we've paid towards our bills. Then we have high priority and others. These categories break down our bill payments further, showing how much we've paid for high priority bills versus other bills. You'll notice progress bars indicating our progress in paying our bills, along with the percentage breakdown of high priority bills versus others. Keep an eye on the reminder 
reminder feature as well. It lets us know how much money is left to cover our monthly bills. The monthly bills breakdown visually represents the breakdown of all money spent on bills for each category. The monthly bills insight ranks the total amounts paid for each bill category from highest to lowest and identifies any overdue bills. Moving on to the debts analysis. The monthly debt summary provides an overview of your debts for the month. Firstly, we have amount, which represents the total amount owed for all debts. Next, page shows us the total amount we've paid towards our debts. Then, we have high priority and others, breaking down our debt payments further to show how much we've allocated to high priority debts versus other debts. Progress bars indicate how close you are to paying off your debts and the percentage of high priority versus other debts. A reminder shows how much money is left to pay all the debts. The monthly debt breakdown visually represents the breakdown of all money spent on debts for each category. The monthly debts insight ranks the total amounts paid for each debt category from highest to lowest and identifies any overdue debts or payments that have not been made in full. Finally, the subscriptions analysis. The monthly subscription summary offers an overview of your subscriptions for the month. Firstly, we have amount, which indicates the total cost of all subscriptions. Next, paid reveals the total amount we've already paid towards our subscriptions. Then, we have regularly and others, breaking down our subscription expenses further to show how much we've spent on subscriptions that are regularly used versus those that aren't. Progress bar indicate how close you are to paying off your subscriptions and the percentage of regularly used versus other subscriptions. A reminder shows how much money is left to pay for subscriptions. The monthly subscriptions breakdown visually represents the breakdown of all money spent on subscriptions for each category. The monthly subscriptions insight ranks the total amounts paid for each subscription category from highest to lowest. It identifies any subscriptions that are overdue for payment. Welcome to your dashboard, the central hub for managing and gaining insights into your finances over the next 12 months. This comprehensive section is divided into three main parts, each offering valuable information and analysis to help you navigate your financial journey effectively. Welcome to the Overview Your Financial Snapshot section. Here, you'll discover a condensed yet insightful summary of your current financial status. We've gathered key metrics that offer a snapshot of your financial health, making it easy to understand where you stand financially at a glance. You'll find important information like your remaining income, remaining funds, total expenses, bills paid, debts paid, and subscriptions paid. These metrics are prominently displayed to provide you with a clear understanding of your financial situation. But that's not all. We've also included a special space just for you. This space is dedicated to your favorite quote, designed to be a source of motivation and inspiration as you pursue your financial goals. Whether it's a phrase that resonates with your aspirations or a mantra that keeps you focused, your chosen quote will serve as a reminder of what you're working towards. Let's talk about the annual category financial breakdown, where we'll delve deep into your financial landscape, offering detailed insights into every aspect of your financial activities over the entire year. Let's explore each section. Income Table. This section provides a detailed breakdown of the income you've received from various sources each month over the entire year. It gives you a clear picture of where your money is coming from and allows you to track any fluctuations in your earnings. Expenses Table. Here, you'll find an in-depth analysis of your monthly expenses categorized by type across all 12 months. By examining your spending patterns closely, you can identify areas where you may be overspending and make necessary adjustments to stay within your budget. Funds gain insights into the allocation of funds to each fund category every month through clear visualizations. This section helps you understand how you're distributing your funds and enables you to make informed decisions about fund allocation based on your financial goals. Bills. Dive into a detailed breakdown of your spending on essential categories each month, providing valuable insights into your bill commitments and spending habits. By closely monitoring your bills, you can ensure that you're meeting your financial obligations on time. Debts. Similar to the breakdown of the bills table, this section offers a comprehensive analysis of your spending on essential categories each month, focusing on your debt commitments and spending behavior. Stay informed about your outstanding debts and track your progress in paying them off over time. Subscriptions. Lastly, get a comprehensive breakdown of your spending on essential subscription categories each month. By understanding your subscription commitments and habits, you can identify subscriptions that may no longer serve you and make adjustments to optimize 
optimize your spending. By exploring these categories in detail, you'll gain valuable insights into your financial habits and be better equipped to make informed decisions about your money throughout the year. And next, we'll talk about the annual analysis where we'll delve deep into your financial landscape, offering detailed insights into every aspect of your financial activities over the entire year. Let's explore each section. So first up, we have your income analysis. We'll start with the yearly income summary, which gives you a comprehensive overview of all your income sources, including active income, passive income, transfers in and out, start balance, and what's left at the end of the year. Then we'll dive into the yearly income insight, where we rank your income sources by category and show you how they contribute to your overall income. We'll also compare your planned versus actual income by month to see how well you stuck to your income plan throughout the year. And don't worry, we'll highlight your highest and lowest income months too, so you can celebrate your wins and learn from any dips. Oh, and we'll top it off with an income breakdown pie chart showing you exactly where your income is coming from. Moving on to expenses, we've got your back there too. The yearly expenses summary breaks down your spending into two categories, importance and others. We provide a comparison between your planned and actual spending, giving insights into your financial habits. It's a tool to help you understand your spending patterns and make informed decisions. Then, we'll classify your expenses with the yearly worthiness summary, so you know where your money is being well spent and where it might be going to waste. Now, let's delve into the yearly expenses insight. This section offers a detailed ranking of your expenses by category, shedding light on where your money is going. Not only does it provide rankings, but it also reveals the percentage each category contributes to your total expenses. This breakdown helps you understand your spending patterns and identify areas where you may need to adjust your budget for better financial management. Then, we'll compare your planned versus actual expenses by month and highlight your highest and lowest expense months. And of course, we'll wrap it up with an annual expense breakdown bar chart so you can see exactly where your money is going each month. Now, let's talk about funds. For your funding, we've got the yearly funding summary. This gives you a clear picture of what you plan to fund, what you actually funded, transfers in and out, and what's left in the pot. We'll rank your funds from highest to lowest with the yearly funds insight and show you where your money is going with the fund expenditure breakdown. And just like with income and expenses, we'll compare your planned versus actual funding by month and highlight your highest and lowest funding months. And of course, we'll wrap it up with an annual funding breakdown pie chart so you can see exactly where your funds are being allocated. All right, let's talk about your bills. We'll start with the yearly bills summary. This one sorts your bills into high priority and others shows you what you've paid, what's left to pay, and the total cost giving you a clear picture of your financial commitments. Then, we'll dive into the yearly bills insight, ranking your bill payments from highest to lowest amounts and providing insights into where your money is going. We'll make sure you're aware of any overdue bills with our overdue bills section and compare your planned versus actual bills payments by month. Plus, we'll highlight your highest and lowest bills payment months and wrap it all up with an annual bills payment breakdown pie chart so you can see exactly how your bills are distributed across different categories throughout the year. Moving on on to debts, we'll provide you with a comprehensive overview of your debt situation. There's the yearly debt summary. This comprehensive overview categorizes your debts into high priority and others. It lays out the total debt, what you've paid off, and what's still hanging over your head, giving you a clear understanding of your financial obligations. Then, with the yearly debts insight, we'll rank your debts from highest to lowest amounts and provide insights into your debt repayment strategy. We'll make sure you're aware of any overdue debts with our overdue debt section, and compare your planned versus actual debt payments by month. And just like with bills, we'll highlight your highest and lowest debt payment months and wrap it all up with an annual debt payment breakdown pie chart so you can see exactly how your debt payments are distributed across different categories throughout the year. And lastly, let's talk about your subscriptions. Similar to debts, we have the yearly subscription summary. It breaks down your subscriptions into regular and irregular, showing what you've spent, what's been paid, and what's left to cover all sorted by category. Then, with the yearly subscriptions insight, we'll rank your subscriptions from highest to lowest amounts and provide insights into your subscription spending habits. We'll make sure you're aware of any irregular subscriptions with our overdue subscription section and compare your planned versus actual subscription expenses by month. Plus, we'll highlight your highest and lowest subscription expense months and wrap it all up with an annual subscription expense breakdown pie chart so you can see exactly how your subscription expenses are distributed across different categories throughout the year. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more templates, tips, and tools to help you manage your finances effectively. If you're interested in purchasing the template featured in this video, you can find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and happy budgeting.